In today's video, we're going to learn how to interact with modal windows using Selenium WebDriver. Hello and welcome to Atomate Now. This is Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. To get started, we're going to navigate to AtomateNow.io. Then we're going to select Sandbox page. Then we're going to scroll down until we see this button here. It says Show Modal. When we click on this button, we see this window that comes up. This is what is referred to as a modal. A modal window requires immediate attention. Notice that we're not able to interact with the original page that can now be seen in the background. And once we're in the modal, we can close it by clicking on this button here. Or we can fill some of these fields and then click Submit. What we're going to do is to enter the name, email, and a message. And then we're going to click Submit. We're going to begin by getting all the locators for all the elements that we're going to be interacting with. And the first thing that we're going to do is to click on this button here. So let's go ahead and find a locator for this. Let's right click it and inspect it. And this has an ID. So let's go ahead and copy this ID and create a locator for it. Now we're going to go to the sandbox page page object and create the locators up here at the beginning of the class. After we click on this button, the next thing that we're going to do is to enter the name. So let's go ahead and find a locator for this one and right click inspect. And again, we have an ID that we can use. So let's go ahead and grab that and create a locator for it. Next, we need a locator for this email field. Let's go ahead and grab the ID. Now we need a locator for this message box. Again, we have an ID. And the last thing we need is this button here. So let's go ahead and inspect this one. And notice that this one does not have an ID or some other easy attribute that we can go by to generate a locator. So to save some time, we can use a tool called Selector Sub. I have already installed this and this is just a browser extension that you can add to your browser. And this tool allows us to find locators for any element on the page. So if you wanted to find a locator for this element here, it's already selected and it's given us different options that we can use. For example, we have a relative CSS locator, a relative XPath locator, and some other ones here. I'm just going to go ahead and select this one here, relative CSS locator. I'm going to click this button to copy this text here. And now I'm going to go to the code and add that locator here. To learn more about selector sub, you can click the information icon located on the top right corner of this video. Now that we have all the locators, let's go ahead and create the methods that we're going to use to interact with the modal. The first method is going to be open modal. And this is going to return sandbox page. Now let's call the click method from the base page object to click on the button that is going to open the modal. Now let's pass in the locator that we created, modal button, and then we just return this. The next method is going to be called modal send message. We're going to use this method to set the name, the email, and the message that goes inside of the modal. Notice that this requires three parameters, the name, email, and message. Once again, we're going to call a method from the base page object called setText. This method allows us to set text for any input field. And we need to pass in the locator. And the first thing that we're going to set is this name field. So let's go ahead and pass the locator for that element, modal name. And then we just pass in name. Then we're going to set the email followed by this message. And the last thing that we do is we click on this button here that says submit. Now we have the two methods that we need to create the test. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go to the sandbox test class. And here we have the new test called test modal. We'll begin by creating three string variables, one for the name, email, and message. Next, we're going to call sandbox page dot open modal. And this is going to click on that button to open the modal. Then we can use the dot operator again and say modal send message. And notice that we need to pass in a name, an email, and a message. So we're just going to pass the variables that we created. And we're all set. We should expect the fields in this modal to be filled out with this name, this email, in this message. 
Let's go ahead and run this test. But to see what happens when we run it, let's go ahead and put a breakpoint inside of this method here, right before we click the OK button in the modal. Now let's go back to the test and run it. And we have arrived at the breakpoint. Let's go to the application. And notice that all the fields have been filled out. All we have to do now is to click on the submit button. Let's go back to the test and finish executing it. And we see that the test passed. If you have been following this playlist on Intro to Selenium WebDriver, you will have noticed that in previous videos, I showed you how to work with different pop-up boxes, such as an alert. I also told you that before we can interact with this alert, we needed to switch to it by using the switch to method that comes with Selenium. And we did that by calling this method here called driver.switchTo and then we set that alert and this allowed us to interact with that alert. But notice that with modals there is no need to call this method to switch to that modal. So what would you rather work with, modals or alerts? I would love to hear your feedback in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.